Hey guys, in the middle of everything going on right now with trying to run back and forth to California, trying to find time to shoot videos, it's been pretty chaotic around here. Now, I have one weakness, and that's a good deal. And my neighbor has a late 40s one ton pickup that's all there. It's even got a virtual flathead sitting on the ground next to it. She kind of uses it as yard art. I've been looking at it for about seven years. And the thoughts, the ideas, all this stuff, if I could get that truck. Well, she came to me the other day and said she's moving. And she needs to get rid of the truck. So, now there's a couple of issues with it. One, the truck's in the backyard. And after she put it in, she put it built to shed. There's no way out. The only way it can go out is under the patio and out. She doesn't want anybody to crane it, so she came and asked me if I could get the truck out. So we're probably going to have to disassemble a lot of the truck in order to get it out. So it's going to be a feet and a half, but for 500 bucks, yeah, I'm going to do it. So we're going to take a little bit of time, see if we can get this truck out. It's probably going to take a few days, but hey, one ton vintage truck for 500 bucks, we'll do the work. So. Let's go over and take a look at it. Freaking kicked a cactus and got the needles in my toes. Not nice. Kicked another one. Oh, the spikes in that thing. All right, guys, we were able to jack it up, get air in four of the tires. So that means two of the tires didn't take air. And of course, they're on the same side on the back. So we're dealing with it. Surprisingly, it steers really easy. And we were able to hook up to the truck and weasel a strap through everything here and get a pull on it. So we're on the front end's on concrete, the rear end's still in the rocks. So tomorrow at daybreak, we're going to be out here. See if we can jack up the rear end and kind of walk it over so we get the whole truck on the concrete. And then we're actually going to have to lower the truck down and go from there. So get some sleep, be back in the morning. Well, it's the next morning. As you can see, we got the truck a lot closer to the house. Now is where the fun part starts. We've got to start shifting it, whatnot, getting some wheels off, getting it low enough to get through this overhang here. So, use the car skates I got. We'll go ahead and get it up, see what we can do to square it up and then drop it down. Okay, stuff. 
Reverse thread. No I, I had a weird feeling. The reverse thread. Huh. This side is normal. Really? Six. It's gonna be close. <laughs> Good to try. Alright. Okay, give it another pull. Okay, we're at the concrete on one wheel. Give it a pull. Uh, oh, I thought we felt the jack. No, we would just hit this. Okay. Um, we got no steering, all right, but we got a clearance right now. Okay. Go for a pull, um, bigger foot, foot and a half, okay? Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Watch that fitter, do not let it hit that beam. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay, hold on, let's check dollies. Get over here. We are literally a foot away from the rear end being on concrete. Okay. So here's the Twelve inches for its AAC. All right, we're gonna go ahead for one more pull. Give me a foot. Hold on. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Go. All right. Hold it there. Back up and shut it down. We got to jack up the rear end of the wheels off. We are talking close. Very close. It's going straight. We gotta get the rear tires off. We can get the rear tires off and get it on skates, drop it down. We gotta have it on skates anyway to do the spin thing on the final run. So are we on concrete though? Yeah. So that worked out. Yeah. The outer lugs were easy to get off. The inner lugs are square. We don't have a socket to fit it, so we're doing it by hand. The whole reason we're going through this is we got to get the rear tires off so it'll actually clear the beam. We're so close. Just figure if we get the tires off, it'll lower the truck down a little more. We'll be able to cleanly get it in there. Then the main question is, will this bed fit through there? Measurements say yes. It's a whole other story when you're trying to push it on the, skate, on the, the car dollies.
All right, we got all the wheels off. Got it on four dollies. So now the plan is to slowly work it under and turn and then out. So literally a pivot in and a pivot out. That's the plan. Not sure it's gonna work. The roof had a dent in it, it was a little high. I did it a little more to make it fit. So let's hope this is gonna work. Stop. Alright, I got the phone on. Good. That won't stay shut. Alright, tighten up. Keep it on, it's long. This easy. Easy. And you're tight. We're rolling. Go ahead. It's a parade float. All right, guys, well, it took seven hours, but we got the job done. All we had to do was remove the mirrors and take the tires off. So 
So we got it out, no damage. It's a win for us, $500, new project. Now, it's in line because I gotta do the Weiss car first. But hey, stay tuned, sooner or later I'll get to it. See you on the next one.